I keep stressing that because it means that there is nobody, there's no central single point of failure. The government can't come out there and control it. There is no one central authority or body that controls it. Meaning that everybody can do what they want whenever they want. It's kind of like the wild, wild west, right? So, which is both good and bad, right? Because good in the sense that countries out there that have oppression or different people that can seize their bank accounts don't really have to bother with that because Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general give them independence from that. Because it, there, there is no one single point of failure, nobody can shut it down. The government, for example, can come, in, can come and say, you know what, we don't like how you're transacting business, let's shut this down. Perfect example is Bitcoin back in the day, back in the heyday, got popular because people were using it on a platform called Silk Road. Right? They could transact and buy illegal goods on this platform, which is basically the dark web, the dark net. They could buy illegal goods with it and not really leave any trace because the government couldn't track it. So that's how Bitcoin kind of got its initial growth. But the government came and shut down the dark web for Silk Road, but it couldn't shut down Bitcoin because Bitcoin has no central authority. It's peer to peer. So imagine kind of like Bitcoin, if you take down one computer, you can't shut down the entire network. This becomes important because you own Bitcoin. It's not owned by the bank, your country, the government, or a different authority. You own it. It is yours. As a result, nobody can seize it from you unless you lose your wallet, which we won't cover today. But so for example, back in, uh, I think around 2013 or so, there was the whole economy, bailouts, countries were collapsing. And Cyprus was one of those countries. Cyprus, the government of Cyprus, as a way to bail out the country and try to reestablish or reboost the economy, they went out there and they wanted to seize assets in people's bank accounts. Just think about that for a second. The government wanted to go to people's bank accounts, take out their money, and redistribute that money out there as a way to revitalize the economy. So people got scared, man. They got really, really scared. And that's when Bitcoin began to grow. So they took money from their bank accounts because they knew the government could come and seize those assets. And they put that almost in a way kind of like a, as an offshore account. They used Bitcoin as a way to hide the money from the government or store their money. Not really hide it, but protect their money from the government and other third parties who would try to seize that money. 